like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden in the shade. He'd let us in, knows where we've been in his octopus's garden in the shade. Hi everyone, it's been a month since we've taken a look at the two reef balls off Henry's Beach, Santa Barbara. As you can see, the current's ripping and life abounds. There's actually more life here than there was just one month ago. There's been a couple of heavy winter swells. Some of the sea vegetables and seaweeds are beat up, but you can see the octopus still love it. And there is a Bellina rockfish. This is a northern reef ball in 42 feet of water next to a beautiful red sculpin, it looks like. Last time there were no rockfish on the northern reef ball, so this is quite a big find to find rockfish here. There is a Spanish shawl, a little tiny beautiful nudibranch hanging out on the inside of the reef ball. And there is a olive rockfish, we call those Johnny Bass, or the cool kids do anyway. There's a close-up of the holdfast of the giant kelp on the reef balls and a copper rockfish. The life around the reef balls is more abundant than before we put them down. There really wasn't much down on the sand around the reef balls when we first put them down. We call that the halo effect. There's a number of perch, another balina rockfish, and some more copper rockfish. And as you can see, the current is just ripping. There's another olive rockfish, Johnny Bass, just hanging out. The reef balls are clearly a very important place for juvenile fish of all types. That's a sand bass. There's an egg mass. I have no idea what kind it is. Maybe it's a cabazon. Maybe it's a mermaid. I don't know. Nice big starfish. A lot of different perch. Now this is a mermaid's purse. Uh, it is a, I believe, a swell shark egg. You can see the embryo on the inside. It's made out of keratin, like the stuff that your fingernails are made out of. And the sharks are using the reef balls to lay their eggs. Now this is a southern reef ball just 100 feet away. You can see the Turkish towel and the dulse waving in the current. There's a close-up of the dulse. Red marine algae, full of nutrients. And last time we saw three copper rockfish, also known as chucklehead, in this reef ball and I believe that those same three are still there. There's two of them anyway. Where's the third one? He's in there somewhere. I call them Minnie, Mo, and Jack and they actually look a little bit bigger than the last time we were here because they appear to be feeding off of uh, some of the algae and the soft corals that live there and growing. So by using reef balls more rockfish. Oh, there's a, a uh, grass bass, also known as a sugar bass, because the meat tastes like sugar. You can see the starfish and octopus behind them there. There's a bat star. So the more small fish that use the reef balls um, that grow up there to breeding size, the more chance we have of increasing fish stocks overall. Making reefs are one of the best mechanisms at our disposal to be able to offset all kinds of human impact. There's a lot of studies uh, showing that creating reefs through the filter feeders can actually clean the water. There's an octopus. We saw an octopus in the same hole last time. I believe that's probably the same one. They're pretty territorial animals. Very, very smart animals, those octopi. There's another shot inside. That's actually the beginning of a sponge. And there's a rockfish here coming up, sitting it. Where is he? There he is. Blending right in. There's the copper rockfish. You can see all the shells from the, the animals that the octopi have eaten over the months. These reef balls have been down just 18 months and already they're the beginning of a whole new ecosystem. There's a top-down shot. As a society, we now have a choice. Do we increase 
marine life abundance? Do we clean the water using some man-made structures like the reef balls? Clearly the fish reef project feels that that is something that we should do. Currently there's no state sponsored reef making program in California and there has not been one for 25 years. So the fish reef project is stepping in and standing up and saying, we'll do it. There's a sand bass. Pull it to get it over there, I bet. Now this is what it looked like 18 months ago, just when we put them in. We have to. So it went from this, we put it on seafloor that looked like this. There's not much going on down there. Pretty empty. This is a few days after we put it down. Still not much going on. One little fish next to it. Bam! 18 months later, you have the beginning of an entirely new kelp-based ecosystem. Full of fish, full of life, full of everything that we promised. As you can see, the reef balls have not moved in uh, more than 12 winter swells. And in time, we will create reefs that look just like this. And with your continued help, together we will help ocean life thrive. Thank you very much.